The issue on the table, Secretary Hamilton's plan to assume state debt and establish a national bank. Secretary Jefferson, you have the floor, sir. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We fought for these ideals. We shouldn't settle for less. These are wise words. Enterprising men, quote them. Don't act surprised, you guys, because I wrote them. <laughs> but Hamilton forgets his plan when the government assumes state's debt. Right. Now, place your bets as to who that benefits, the very seat of government where Hamilton sits. Not true. Ooh, if the shoe fits, wear it. If New York's in debt, why should Virginia bear it? Uh, our debts are paid, I'm afraid. Don't tax the South, because we got it made in the shade. In Virginia, we plant seeds in the ground. We create. You just want to move our money around. This financial plan is an outrageous demand, and it's too many damn pages for any man to understand. Stand with me in the land of the free. Pray to God we never see Hamilton's candidacy. Look, when Britain taxed our tea, we got frisky. Imagine what's going to happen when you try to tax all of this. Thank you, Secretary Jefferson. Secretary Hamilton. Thomas. Your that, response. Thomas, that was a real nice declaration. Welcome to the present. We're running a real nation. <laughs> Would you like to join us or stay mellow doing whatever the hell it is you do in Monticello? If we assume the debts, the union gets a new line of credit, a financial diuretic. How do you not get it? If we're aggressive and competitive, the union gets a boost. You'd rather give it a sedative, a civics lesson from a slaver. Hey, neighbor, your debts are paid because you don't pay for labor. <laughs> we plant seeds in the South. We create. Yeah, keep ranting. We know who's really doing the planting. Wow. And another thing, Mr. Age of Enlightenment, don't lecture me about the war. You didn't fight me. You think I'm frightening you, man? We almost died in the trench while you were off getting high with the French. That is Thomas, Thomas Jefferson always has it to do with the president. Redison, there is a plan for the jettison. Madison, you mad as a Madison. Take your medicine. Oh, Damn, you're a worse shape than the national oh, deficit. Sitting there useless as two shits. Hey, turn around, bend over. I'll show you where my shoes are. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Madison, Jefferson, take a walk. Hamilton, take a walk. We'll reconvene after a brief recess. Hamilton, a word? You don't have a bonus. You don't, you don't have the votes. Ah, 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 ah. You're going to need congressional approval, and, and you, you don't, don't have, have the votes. votes. Such a blunder. Sometimes it makes me wonder why I even bring the thunder. Why he even brings the thunder. I'm sorry, these Virginians are birds of a feather. Oh, man, I'm from Virginia, so watch your mouth. So we let Congress get held hostage by the South. You need the votes. No, we need bold strokes. We need this plan. No, you need to convince more folks. Well, James Madison won't talk to me. That's a non-starter. Ah, winning was easy, young man. Governing's hard. They're being intransigent. You have to find a compromise. But they don't have a plan. They just hate money. Convince them of the what happens if I don't get congressional approval? I imagine they'll call for your removal. Sir, figure it out, Alexander. That's an order from your commander. Yes, sir. 